The journey to Elon is not always an easy one for some students. Our Jasmine Turner spoke to one former student whose journey has left a lasting legacy. When former Elon student Glenda Phillips Hightower began her Elon journey in 1960, she was entering a whole new world. There was, in my community, there was fear and apprehension. And with my family, there was fear and apprehension. I didn't have that. Phillips Hightower is a Burlington, North Carolina native. She was the first black student to attend Elon, which came with many challenges. Representing my whole race, and that's too much to ask of anyone. Despite America's racial climate in the 1960s, Phillips Hightower found Elon to be somewhat of a safe haven. There were no guns. There were no soldiers. There was no community pressure. There were no marches. There, were, there was nobody heckling me to get off the campus. During the fall of her sophomore year, Phillips Hightower got sick, eloped, and moved to Washington, D.C. She never completed her Elon education, something she regretted for many years. Embarrassed, worthless, failure, all those negative, all the negative feelings you can imagine. But Phillips Hightower didn't give up. She attended various colleges and universities and eventually received her diploma from the University of Iowa. Not all the roads that you're, you travel are paved smoothly. Hills and valleys, challenges, but you get there if you want to. And I wanted to. <laughs> Phillips Hightower now comes to Elon every spring for the Phillips Perry Black Excellence Awards. Everybody gets an opportunity for education here. You hold a high standard and you're well represented in the world. And her legacy continues to live on today. Jasmine Turner, Elon Local News. Phillips Hightower was recently honored by the Black Cultural Society of Elon.